four. Three and four. Do you guys want a hippopotamus for three? Best and worst jumping for four. Okay, okay. Three, three, three hippopotamus facts. Okay, hippo facts. All right, we're gonna learn about hippos. Let's get it. This what was that? I was... Fine, fine. Sponsored by Curiosity Stream. Sorry, sorry, I didn't, sorry, I didn't... I... I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy. That's my bad, that's on me. Alright, Abdus will make you laugh, you lose, happen. Let's get it, baby. This right here is the common hippopotamus. Aww, hippopotamus. he looks like a guitar case. Look at his head. Uh, you can open up his mouth and pull that thing stromboni out of there. It's amphibious. Now, for a long time, it was uh -huh. assumed that the hippopotamus was related to the pig. I mean, just look at it. But it recently, is. they figured out that their closest relatives are the cetaceans. The freaking whales what? and dolphins. What? Not the manatee. No, that would have made too much sense. What? The manatee looks like you made a hippo with Build-A-Bear, but came up short. <laughs> Manatees lost a chromosome on the way to being a whale. Uh... But on stuffing. No, the manatee is related to the elephant, while the hippo is a whale that wasn't. Anyway, what? the ancestors of the hippos didn't join the That's ancestors so of the weird. whales in the ocean. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. Everyone I didn't mean to laugh. I didn't mean to laugh. My bad. Uh, come to the Why? Thing. They didn't know how to swim, so they stayed in the kiddie pool. And you know what? 54 million years later, they still don't know how to friggin' swim. They really don't. They fake it. They bounce along the bottom. And it's kind of cute. Whenever, whenever, Look, they tuck in their little wrist angle things like a bunny rabbit. I mean, for not knowing how to swim, they're F quite graceful. Music, why in it? part, it's because they're sort of a perfect mixture of heavy and buoyant. They're heavy because they have these ultra-dense bones. And that's good because without them, they'd have some buoyancy stability problems. But with all that fat and those big lungs, they'd roll around like a meat <laughs> beach ball down there. But as it is, it's almost perfect that they're walking on the moon. But the hippo isn't fully aquatic, it's semi-aquatic, which means it does it half-ass, literally. Their face took a page from the crocodile and sort of rotated their eyes and nose up to the top. Mm -hmm. And this allows the hippo to hang out in the water, looking Ooh. like a creepy old man in a public pool. Now, being <laughs> semi-aquatic, all this equipment has to work above and below. <laughs> PLV, you work in Twitch chat. Blurkers, this is you guys. Oh, and I'll tell you, you don't want to play Guess That Orifice with a hippo. Here, look what? at this one. Whoa! <laughs> you guess, and then I'll show you what happens when it opens. Uh, it's uh, a foot! It's a foot! It's a foot! I think. Opens up. It opens oh, up? Oh, look, it's just an eye. What? Under the water, they can keep their peepers open, because they're protected by a tra- <sighs> It's just an eye. Oh, okay. Transparent membrane. Their nostrils look a bit like two hairy mud slugs singing opera. Ooh. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> That's a hole you can lose a fist in. How do they keep the water out? Well, True. the trick is, when they're relaxed, they're closed. This is similar to the dolphin's blowhole, which is just a pair of nostrils that joined up and went to the top. So every time they want to take a breath, they have to flare their nostrils. Is it just me, or does that look like an evil muppet? Aww. The good thing is, it helps keep the water cute. out. Sure, once in a while you have to clear out the pipes, trick. but these remarkable nostrils allow the hippo to do something else. What? They can take their nap time under the water. Hmm? Look at that, that's how you nap. They have a reflex which how allows them to raise their head and take what? breaths, whenever, all whenever, without whenever, waking up. What? Their ears do this little thing. I like to pretend uh -huh. that they're tiny wings. <laughs> and it's sometimes like it's this little here. twirly motion. <laughs> but this is something Hot they do to get the- chat, I'm manually breathing now. The water out their ears when they come up. I wonder how they taste. Clear. All right, Jeffrey Dahmer, calm down, man. Can't this epic water whale? He's doing his best, man. Here, because there's a lot to listen for, and it's not just. Wait a second. If whales are related to hippos, then that means that means that Amy Schumer is related to whales. <laughs> I know. It's the mind. sound that <laughs> out okay. of the water. A team of science hippies threw some carrots into murky water and then listened. <laughs> that means your mom's related to hippos. And as a science hippo tried to find them, the hippo made a series of clicks <laughs> under the water. So <laughs> Freak! I'm gonna be so bad, man. But it like this. I know what you're thinking. Is that a fart? That's a fart. They oh. recorded a hippo fart. And that yeah. would be embarrassing, but no, I think they ruled that out. But hippos seem to use clicks to echolocate like the dolphin do. Ooh. And they sound like farts. Science. If the hippo is... Wow, well, apparently if you hear that noise, you'd be terrified for your life. But I couldn't. I would just laugh. The aquatic. And that then I'll get chomped. <laughs> means that it is also semi-land dick, Jerry. That's not a word. No, it isn't land dick. It's not aqua dick, Jerry. It's aquatic. 
Whatever. Hippos spend time on land. Idiot. Now, you'd think that they'd live in a place that was wet out of the water, like Seattle or London. But True. no, they live in hot as shit places. And that can be problematic in a couple of ways. What? First of all, the pools dry out. And then what are you? Ew. Semi mud dick. Jerry had to that for you. But secondly, in the heat, you have to. It's like the guy likes to go through with sewage. That giant meat potato from overheating. They don't have sweat glands, but they do look a bit sweaty, don't they? That's because their skin secretes a mucus. The mucus has a reddish pigment in it called hipposiduric acid, which okay. turns brown as it dries out. Oh. This compound acts as a sunscreen, but also can fight infection from Wait, microorganisms. This sweat and it's another reason why you don't want to ride a hippo naked. Curiosity Street. Why, why would you ride a hippo naked? You've been mixing fluids! With the whale! It's pretty amazing. I should know because I'm a subscriber. Okay. And I think Kaiser. I mean, if that's all you want, petrified forest up in there. Who knew? Frank23. Because hey, that's how old I am. <laughs> use code I'm a fan and happy. But that footage sucks. Okay. They sort of use their lips to get at it. All that hardware up Being front grass? is for fighting, not eating. To chew, they gotta take it all the way back to where. How does a guy eat grass? This makes no sense. Chat, his teeth are made for crunching skulls. There's no way this dude's eating grass. Where the little teeth are. These grasses aren't that nutritious and they're hard to digest. So bacteria in the hippo's stomach ferment and break down those lawn clippings into something that the hippo can work with. After all that's been taken care of, of course it comes out the other end. He's peeing! Spectacular. No! <laughs> he's not a never, modest never pooper. Like I'd like Bravo! a dog instead of a hippo. Oh, oh, it oh, looks oh, like a malfunction. Wait. He's pissing on his butt crack. It's like a natural bidet. What is going on? Dodo toilet. <laughs> what the do women do? On full blast. Bro's pissing on. What am I looking at? I'm gonna get banned, bro. Because it helps disperse the scent. <laughs> Understatement. I'm gonna get banned, But here's the thing. Bro. 16 hours a day or so, uh -huh. they're sitting in a pool with a whole bunch of other hippos. He's you weed whacking his face, You don't always know what part of the hippo in front of you you're facing. And at some point, someone's gonna have to go, and it's a pain in the ass to get out and get your flip-flops. Because the floor in the pool oh, house toilet is always wet, and you don't know from what. So if someone shits in the pool, you could make a big deal out of it. <laughs> or you could lean into it. And that's what the hippos did. Make some lemonade out of those lemons. Yeah. And by lemonade, I mean shit soup. And by shit soup, I mean shit soup with benefits. All right, that sounds weird. Ew. With all the hippos pooping in the Wait, pool... Wait, the fish are eating! Well, that's good news for all the things that like to eat poop. But as those creatures oh, thrive, God. they take oxygen out of the water. Oh, and this God. in turn makes the water oh, resemble God. the insides of the hippo's gut. Oh, and that God. means that those healthy bacteria that are living in the gut can come out and play. And suddenly the water is like a big shared gut. Everyone's pooping it and drinking it and the fish are eating it. <laughs> and it's good bacteria for everyone. It's like and humans have been drinking this for thousands of years to survive in the African world. Swimming in no kombucha. Way. They're kombucha. swimming in Lugia's stomach. Poopcha. Get it? <laughs> Kill me. And this oh, can God. change entire ecosystems. The grasses hippos eat are rich in silica. The silica gets used by diatoms. I, I what an amazing feel... video for eating food, Fillion. I don't want to eat food anymore, bro. A kind of algae that encases I, itself in I little glass houses. Eat. The diatoms can then outcompete green algae, which is good because green algae it blooms can cut out all the sunlight in the body of water. You want a nice healthy lake? Have a hippo sh** in it. <laughs> Who knew? But okay. don't start thinking that hippos are just a group uh -huh. of mellow environmentalist river pooping hippies. They've uh -huh. got some spunk to. Th we don't use that word, Jenny. Ew. They've got some attitude. I mean, look at this one. It's chasing a freaking boat. They yeah, can the gallop underwater. Blood. And look, it's got a bigger wake than the boat. Uh -huh. I mean, they're not bad on land either. Why is so Those fast? He's dense... so fast. <laughs> Bones Frick. they have can support all that weight even in a sprint. And in moto, short moto. stretches, they can go 30 miles like an hour. I like them big. And look at that thing. I like them chunky. Coming at you, it's a guaranteed chunky. pant load. Now, being a mucus-covered giant bulldozer gives you some protection, but they also have a wet... Where does his teeth go inside of his mouth, dude? Does he just impale his oh, upper jaw? God. Does he... Does he just impale his no, upper jaw? Please, no. No. face. You know when no. somebody yawns and then, like, you have to no. yawn? Where does the tooth you're... go? And what it's like for the hippos, because their yawn goes on for days. This mouth wide open gesture exposes their canine teeth, which can be over two uh -huh. feet long. They never stop growing and they self sharpen by rubbing against each other. Uh -huh. When you put all that together and you have a creature that really doesn't give a f. Look True. at this one. You know what he's doing? Wait for it. He's f with a rhino. Wait, <laughs> the who rhino is? Know what the hell's There's no 
way the rhino doesn't win this. Okay, I know the hippos are short. Chat one, one hippo, two they rhino. Who wins these, man? They have two buttholes for their teeth. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I buy that. There's no way rhinos are blind. Listen, when your horn is literally enough to impale an epic helicopter from outer space, it you don't need to be able to see. Oh, God. He's like, you sure about this, bro? And the hippo keeps at it until it does what you're not supposed to do, which, which is, is turn your backside to a pissed off rhino. Look at that. No! Right in the middle. <laughs> However, he most of the hippos profound the booty cheek. is reserved for other <laughs> hippos. A single alpha male yeah. has the exclusive right to yeah. mate with all the females in the pod. Younger horny males hang out on the periphery and take out their sexual frustration on each other. Now, if you're having <laughs> trouble... <laughs> I'm just trying to get a bite of that booty. <laughs> figuring out who's who, you're not alone. It turns out it's not that easy They're to They're literally just swimming in feces. Look at this junk. Well, the hippopotamuses oh. from the hippopotamisters. <laughs> Come on, that's amazing. <laughs> well, in this shot, you can probably tell. This is essentially what hippo pornography looks like. That's why you don't see very what? much of it on your way. Why did you guys tell me to watch this video, bro? This is so sus. Websites. I mean, you might get a shot of the nostrils. Don't type binoculars. It's lit. It's, it's two hippos, man. There's no rule against the animals, Pokemon, like uh, Batman. What is this? Why would you type binoculars? So boring. But I suppose don't judge until you've had a hippopotamus on top of you. We should be learning about tarantulas. Oh, God. Don't remind me. I don't want to eat a tarantula. It's so bad. It's fun, they're anyway, in a hot tub, you're you right. It. And you know what happens you're next. Right. This right here is ah! in the process of giving birth to a brand new baby. Birth usually happens under the water, <laughs> and the baby needs to learn quick how to come Wait, up. the baby gets born, he's like, oh, yes, a nice, beautiful day. Let me take a nice... <laughs> I, yeah, the bros after being born, he's like, man, this kind of tastes like my mom. <laughs> for real, <laughs> poop it's water. not all that strong <laughs> yet, and it's still learning to hold its breath. So for the time being, mommy helps out with a nudge before it sinks back down like a flesh rock. <laughs> Soon enough, though, it gets the hang of it. For the first months, the mommy hippo go. will raise the baby away from the pod for reasons that will be painfully obvious. But for now, this is about as sweet as a hippo... Wait, what do you mean? What are the reasons that are painfully obvious? I, I lost gets. my appetite. I mean, come on, those babies are cute. And look I, I at pygmy hippo appetite. babies. I mean, that's he's off the charts. Oh, like dude, he's just a little linker. Imagine, okay. The males kill the babies. Yikes. Okay, well, frick. Uh huh. They get dunked on. Why? Look how cute he is, Chad. You can raise a hippo for like three weeks before it's bigger than you. That's so effing cute. A gummy bear come to life. A little baby bear. But parenting out there isn't all that easy. It's nope, true. honey. That that's a crocodile. Hot, hot. Oh, for God's <laughs> sakes. At this size, the babies <laughs> are still really vulnerable to care, predators bro. that wouldn't take on a full-grown hippo. So it's helpful to have a full-grown hippo around. Look at the antelope watching the whole thing. <laughs> like wildlife rubbernecking. <laughs> <laughs> this antelope's bro is like, he's like, wait a sec. This idiot's supposed to be fragging me. What's he doing, man? Were your tonsils are in a jar on my desk? <laughs> just like, come on, man. It's like Tom and Jerry. Except Tom found a new Jerry. And then Jerry's just like... Hey, man, what about me? Like, uh, we, you know, remember the good times when you used to chase me? I'd be like, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> so, like, uh, you know, how about for good times? We, uh, we, we go and chase me again. I mean, woo, don't you want to chase this? I mean, come on now. <laughs> come on, Tom, I thought we had something. <laughs> it's like, suck it, leopard. <laughs> yeah, suck it. Oh, sh they're leaving. It's a bit of an incredible adventure. Out there, alone with your mother, learning how best to hippopotam, and after surviving Aww. leopards and lions. Yo, Chad, if a VTuber was a hippopotamus, they'd be called a hippopotam. And crocodiles, it's time for them to go back and re enter the pod, which is perhaps more dangerous than all of what they've been through. True. Now, let's just say that our little friend made it back just fine. Did he? But to understand the hippopotamus, you should know He's that so many graceful. don't. If a new male yeah. has taken over the pod, it will often kill Whoa. returning pups. It's a sad thing, but a true thing. And that's the thing with these hippos. They alternate between this sort of serene calm. How am I supposed to eat food under these conditions? 
I I lost my appetite. And suddenly, what is wrong with nature, bro? Moments of extreme violence. Oh that my sort of unpredictability uh. might be the best way to stay alive. Alright, well, we know the real king Ninja, of the they're not using farts to echolocate. How do I know? For one, what are they gonna do? Have a bean burrito three hours before they want to find a carrot? Yeah. They can't just fart on command, Jerry. And anyway, know. they know it wasn't a fart. Uh huh. Well, I don't know. Wait. They look okay. for bubbles. Yeah. What Jerry. do you guys think? W Mineral. Do your Fart. magic Fair sonar shit. farts not make bubbles? No. Huh? No, you cannot use my w? bathtub. Idiot. Mm. Okay, mid L. I see not a single L. Not a single L. This bit is a straight W a few mids. That has got to be one of the best reviews from the audience I've ever seen in my life. Everyone typing L now is be <laughs> L because I'm eating. You know what? I'll accept that. Valid. Bye.